Good morning and welcome to Scargill Chapel on the 23rd of July. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Helen Cook and I'm a preacher on trial in the circuit, but I live and work here at Scargill. And I thought I might share with you this morning some of what it's been like to live here in lockdown. Now, I didn't know that when I prepared my last service for Trinity on the 15th of March, that it would, in fact, be the last time I preached for a long time in a Methodist church. And, in fact, it was the last service which Trinity had before the seriousness of the pandemic came to light and the church is closed. Now, in that service, my focus was prayer, and I offered a few thoughts about the different aspects of prayer and my own personal struggles with prayer. And little did I know the journey I was about to go on during a pandemic. So we closed our doors to guests on the 20th of March, and by the 23rd, we were all in lockdown. Now, what were, we get, what were we going to do without any guests? I think some of us were rejoicing <laughs> um, at the thought of having no guests, but others, like myself, were a little more apprehensive. A community without a purpose to serve didn't sound that good to me. But our existing daily rhythm of prayer soon became what held us together. Now, we always have prayed three times a day, and that continued. We pray once in the morning, which is based on a Bible reading, and a member of the community um, takes that. We're on a rotor. And then we pray once after lunch, which um, a more intercessory prayer. And then we pray before we go home for the day, and that's a meditation on a psalm. But I soon realised that my focus was gone. I couldn't concentrate fully on God. And that really, I wasn't praying at all. And I started to feel guilty about this. And it wasn't until we had a retreat day that I realised that a lot of other people on the community were feeling the same way as me and were having problems praying. But the guest speaker suggested um, that this was okay. And sometimes in our lives, we have times where it's okay just to show up. We have times in our lives when prayer becomes more difficult, but God already knows what it is, what we have on our heart, and is just pleased when we show up ready to receive. For me, that was real comfort, that it's okay just to show up before God. And I hope that might be a comfort for you this morning. Now, I want to finish with a poem about prayer. Be silent, be still, alone, empty, before your God. Say nothing, ask nothing, be silent, be still. Let your God look upon you, that is all. God knows and understands. God loves you with an enormous love, wanting only to look upon you. Quiet, still, be. Let your God love you. Amen.